Are you wasted? <coughs> yeah, man. Are you steamed, Casey? For all you mad bastards loving the Big Show podcast, get up even closer on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Or raw dog it. Four to seven every weekday on Radio Horaki. What a day, eh, fellas? Hey, How stonker. good. <laughs> really good. Yes. Sorry I couldn't join you for golf today, Keezy. I was keen as. Yeah. Nah, it's all good. Nah, I just had a tradie. You know how tradies are very loose with the time scenarios? Yeah. You know, they'll say, oh, probably around about such and such. And then it ends up being something else altogether. So That's all good. Do you, not, just, do you not contemplate just leaving a Kia and just leaving them to it? Nah, because... My daughter's there right. and, and staff. Yeah, I don't yeah, feel yeah. comfortable doing that. Fair enough, mate. Um, um, you would have hated it. Oh, wh- why is that? So we went to Takapuna, which is public course, and you book time slots. However, they've shut nine of the holes, and their slots between people teeing off are usually 10 minutes. Shut nine of the holes, and now there's five-minute gaps between people, which isn't long enough for people to play through a hole. It took me three hours, and I only played eight holes and couldn't even finish it and then drove wow. straight here. It was yeah, a shambles. There was a lot of effing and jeffing going on from me. From old Keezy Which over is there. weird because I don't usually eff and do that. Yeah. Good weekend though, fellas. Yeah, yeah good beautiful. Weekend, mate. Beautiful weekend. Oh. Yeah, what'd you do, Jace? Ah, uh, what did I do? <laughs> uh, um... Mike doesn't even care, Jace. No, I do. I find I find uh oftentimes talking about your weekend actually ruins it. So if you go and it's like five people ask you what you got up to on your weekend and it's like actually having to drag over the coals about it i always i always change the subject very quickly pugs just gestured that he asked how your weekend was he did he said how was your weekend i said great pugs how was yours i'm straight on to how's yeah, yours right. you asked me one second after he asked me yeah bang you heard what i said to him you asked me anyway bang <laughs> it was good KZ. how was yours yeah 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 what I, don't you know, I don't know what it is i um well, it's only small talk, isn't it? It doesn't matter. No. Nah. Yeah. What if I just said, here he is. Here he is. Thank you. Yeah, that um, would be a, here okay. he <laughs> Pugs asked me how my weekend was, and I told him in great detail. Well, not great detail. And then I, um, then eventually I asked him about his. Right. Uh, but I didn't ask you about yours or Keezy's. No. Uh, but mine was very nice, thanks. I had a nice day yesterday, Joe. Thanks for asking, mate. And, yeah, uh, that's good. Um, I actually got asked to go out for dinner. Uh, drinks sure. or a dinner or something like that or a late lunch something like that on Sunday there and I said oh yeah it was with Tom Scott oh, right. and his wife yes and I haven't seen them for ages and said yeah yeah that'll be great blah 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 and then we were working yesterday and then I got about an hour or so into or an hour or so out from it and I was like I can't I've got too much to do I was like I can come and get pissed or I can work till midnight and I think I've got to work till midnight it's quite a good thing. I'm reading Matt Heath's book, yes, which is a lot of uh, a lot of information in there. It's not as as quick a read as you think. No, because um, you think it'll be real dumb because Matt's written it, but it's yeah, actually because he's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, but there's a lot of info. It's good because he's sort of uh, collated a lot of other people's research yeah, and bundled it all your, into one book. Your, your stoic philosopher. There's uh, not philly. a lot of that yet, thank God, because oh, right. I've, heard, I've heard enough about uh, Marcus Aurelius, <laughs> Marcus from, listening Aurelius. To his, <laughs> from listening to his podcast yes. and, and radio show. Uh, but one good thing that came out of it was the choice that you have between the easy thing and the hard thing every day. Like There's lots of different choices mm. that you have. You're like, oh, I can't be fucked. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do the easy thing, whatever that is. Sure. So rather than go, so I'm now I'm applying that. So I'm re reapplying myself, Jace. Good on to you, the mate. Cigarettes. I oh, see so you. And you're I did it to a pack I'm, a day. I'm, I'm, yeah, that's I'm what it sounded to, like. I'm trying to give it a miss and just recognizing whenever you have the cravings, and I'm, I just give in immediately. Sure. And just trying to um, knuckle down with that and with work and like went to the gym at five o'clock this morning, all that sort of stuff. The easy thing is to not do it. Yeah, and sure. Just choose the hard thing; it's better for you. So, is his is the idea that you always choose the hard thing? No, the idea is that you've always got choices between hard and easy, and easy will always be the worst possible thing for you, and the hard right. thing is always going to be better for you in the long run. Yeah. Right. So, the more times you can make the hard choice, the better your life will be. There's that philosophy mm. too, um, which is swallow the frog. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which is basically never heard of that. Well, like if you if, if you've got something that. that you're not looking forward to doing, swallow it. Uh, do Suck make, it. Make Suck it, it hard. Make it oh. the first thing you do in your day. 
swallow the frog straight away. Just go done. and get it done. Yeah. And then well, you don't have to worry. And then it doesn't affect and permeate the rest of your day. The, I, I, do a, I do like a self-reward system. <laughs> Sure. Which sounds like I beat off after doing something tough, but that's not how it works. Basically, it's like well, if, you do it. You do that as well. But I mean, that's okay, Keith. If you want to Jace, beat yourself he's off, he's a young man. Yeah, go for it, if mate. If I want to go and strangle the frog or whatever it is, that's fine. Choke the chicken. Stroke that thing. Um. So what happens is I'll wake up and go, oh my god, I've got this, this, this to do. But if I get all of that, and it works with my studies too, mm. I'll be like, I, I study now until ten a.m. And then I get to play silly buggers and go and like play golf or whatever it might be. But yeah. I have to get that done first, and then you get the reward. Yeah. So if you do an hour's work, you wake up at nine. You work, you do your study. Wake up at 10. nine. Well, I gotta have a coffee first and wake up while watching YouTube. So I do about twenty minutes study. Yeah. Well, you're a backbone kid. Which is mostly just be. Well, mostly I, just flipping through flashcards. <laughs> the thing is, for me, hang on with the flashcards. Good, really good. They're great. Um, Very handy. <clears throat> My wife won't use them on me though. What? I was like, can you just... Well, you're beating yourself sh- off. Can you... No. I don't oh. want you to read Tony or Māori flashcards to me while I'm having a go at myself, Jase. Right, yeah, okay. thank you. Well, you should try it, Jase. To be fair. <laughs> Change it up a bit. Sure. It might help me remember it, it might, you know, stay in there. Yeah, call Chris Tuckaway. <laughs> um, but no, nah, she won't quiz me. Like, oh, what is mum and Māori? She won't do it. She's Why like, not? Oh, racist. She, yeah. She's racist. Christchurch. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 true. It's just in the like, they can't help it. She's like, I hate it. Like, you're the yeah, one hate- learning, not me. Because she's got home from her actual job with actual work. She and won't then, help you. And I'm like, how many times has she said no? This is once. Once. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And she's Cause... like, the reason I taught you how to make flashcards, because I never heard of them, was so that you could do it yourself. Oh, they're flashcards. Yeah. Yeah. And now she's like, nah. Well, she probably do doesn't like you beating That's yourself off one. while you're doing them. That's probably the thing. Probably grosses her out a bit. Nah, some people aren't into she's that. Into, nah. She's into it. Yeah. If anybody is. Yeah. Hey, um, what else? Oh, I was going to say something. But oh, I was it cool, man? Nah. I had an interesting day today. Met Tamaiti. Oh, how was he? He's great. I love him after watching him on Celebrity Same, Treasure Same, I was Island. talking to him about Celebrity Treasure Island. Did he enjoy it? He loved it. Yeah. He loved it. And he said it, uh, yeah, it sort of changed a lot of the conversations that he has with people. He gets heaps of people coming up to him now. And yeah. He always did, he said, but now even more people. But to be fair, Old ladies and young people. and He was intimidating. Like when you see and read about him and stuff, it's mm. intimidating. And then after seeing him on TV and James Mustapix chatting to him became best friend, I'm like, oh, he's, <laughs> he's just like my granddad. Used yeah, to, like, yeah, you know? yeah, totally. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. No, it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then what else happened today, fellas? Um, oh, I did gardening. I finished my edging. Shit, it looks good. Oh, God, you're really sexual today, Keezy. <laughs> <laughs> edging and beating yourself off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, Jace had a busy weekend because you... Oh, it was your birthday, Jace. Your Do you birthday? remember that? It was my birthday, yeah. 43 now. Yeah, man. Or is it 54? I can't remember. 43, I think. <laughs> but, you know, you reach a point where it doesn't matter anymore, really. It's just another year closer to death. Mm, but That's you, true, and you're very close. Yeah, now. yeah. Lo- so You must be freaking I, out. I'm finding as I get older that actually I'm becoming more and more chill about shit and just going, you know what? Don't worry about it. Yeah, oh, sure. Just don't, don't fucking worry about it. Because it's sort of making it. you every year and you have a birthday to go over, you think, fuck, I better give up these darts because I am taking the piss now. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it does. I I don't. I'm not a big fan of the smoking, but I love it. You know, and I, and and there's so many things I don't do now that I used to do sure. all the time. I mean, you I can go, justify anything, Jason. Well, you can, but I mean, <laughs> Jason, we have two joy? choices every day. Two choices. You know, if I was hard or easy. If I was getting on the hard piss or soft all on. the time and sure. doing all that sort of stuff, I'd probably go, okay, well, I'll give something else up. Mm. But you know, it's like, but it's not something that I want to keep doing. Yeah. Mm. If you had the choice between being a smoker and a non-smoker, what would you do? Smoker. (laughs) (laughs) Easy. Why don't you swap it out with something else, like be a heroin guy or something? Oh, yeah, I mean, I could do that. Heroin would be your your thing. Maybe pharmaceuticals. Yeah. Get the nod on, you know. Maybe get on the nangs. Um, Oh, yeah, the nangs. Become a nang guy. Oh, what are the nangs? Those little um, tubes of nitrous oxide. Oh, right. Oxide. You, and you suck them all. You suck it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've yeah. done those a couple of times. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah. Just One a, thing that a cheap, cheap, very cheap thrill. thrill. The great thing about the uh, the nang there is, uh, or oh, I hear, is sure, <laughs> <laughs> is that if you're on acid, 
You know how it makes you feel out of it for like a minute or whatever. Yes. If you if you're on acid or mushrooms and you have them, you fully hallucinate for that period of time instead of having that feel good euphoric feeling. The whole world. You, it's just a full hallucination. Right. Like, completely insane shit. Wow, going but on. just for a minute. And amazing, but only lasts for a minute, which is the best because you don't want it last. You don't want hallucinations yeah, lasting like for hours. Yeah, that sounds like a nightmare it's, to me. Oh, no, it's fucking great. It's, oh, but it's, we don't recommend so, it. So you I mean, hear. I hear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've heard. Um, once this friend of mine discovered that, he went straight down to the shop and bought some more. Um, <laughs> when, and then similarly, my mate was telling me that if you're on MDMA um, or ecstasy, as it was known back when the day when my friend was taking that sort of thing, yes. sort of 20 plus years ago, um, that intensifies that rush as well Can by about a thousand dairy? fold. Yeah, it's where oh. I used to get them from, yeah. Oh. But now, what was interesting about this whole thing is that they're like, oh, they're banning it, you can't use it recreationally. You couldn't fucking, you couldn't find them when I, my mate was doing it 20 years ago. You couldn't use it recreationally then. It was no. illegal. You could only get them from more Wilsons and Wellington. They... And they were u- generally used for... Like yes, what were they used for? For, creamy, for cream. So you have them in... Um, and you know those yeah, bottles and soda, st- yeah, sodas, yeah. soda right. bottles and all that sort of shit. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. But there you go. So you can investigate that at your own risk, Jase. Right? Oh, nah. Look, I'm, what I am enjoying is that, um, you know, I'm getting out and about quite a bit these days. Oh, and, yeah. it's, and it's very good. Are you pressing the flesh, man? Yeah, pressing the flesh a bit. Yeah. And, but, you know, those situations that you talk about where you go, oh, can I really be fucked? I'm now... Yeah, 80% of the time going, yes, I can be. Yes. Um, Just not with I, golf today. Well, I, I would have loved to, as I say, but it would have been a shitter anyway by the sounds of it. But no, certainly just going out and doing stuff. And I always feel better for doing that. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Rather than sitting around going, oh, what am I, should I, should I? Yeah. Pull the trigger and do it, man. Do just, yeah. just do it. Thing, man. Just do it. Just write do that it. Down, would you can, can you do write it. that down? That's inspirational. Isn't that Nike? Nah. Shia LaBeouf? LeBeuf. Hey, listen to the Hodaki Big Show 4 or 7 every single weekday douche, on Radio douche. Hodaki. You will really enjoy it. My cap's giving me a headache. I think it's too tight. That's really cool. Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Weekdays from 4 on Radio Hodaki. Or give their podcast a hoon on iHeartRadio.